Yes, sir. Rock and roll and roll and rock. I got tens, got twenties, got fifths. Running around wild trying to get that mail. We can roll up. You ain't from the hood, y'all don't know about this, but if you feel me, throw your bows up. But I had to tell, see, I'm a crime boss, 365. Hustle in my veins, you cannot stop it. Walking down the block with life in my pocket. Oh shit. So, yeah, yeah, it's your boy Willie B. Um, happy Friday, you know. You know, entrepreneurs and, and, and people who do all this other stuff, you know, it's you're never off, really. It's like... No, no time is the weekend. When you finish working, it's the weekend. I hope the week been going well, you know. And, and if it hasn't, it's all good. You know, this thing is a, is an up and down game. You, you're not always gonna be happy. You know, you're not always gonna be uh, sad. It's time to work on that balance. Once you start feeling off like that, we got another member of the Griselda group, Benny the Butcher, out of Buffalo, New York. Like, I've covered these guys again so before, so I'm not going to go super, super deep in them. But, you know, Benny kind of started dropping mixtapes back in the 2000 era. Um, so he, he's, he's, he's been hustling for a while. He's not new to this. He's true to this. And then when, when Griselda Records was created in 2014, that's when shit really started kind of taking off. So, you know, people always talk about being an overnight success. There's no overnight successes. You know, that shit don't exist. Literally, it's just you be working for a long time and, like, a little bit of people recognize it. And then it just starts to grow exponentially over time. So, the album we're going to cover, it just dropped. It's called uh, The Plugs I Met Too. Uh, which leads me to think that there was a... Uh, the plugs I met one, and I never heard it. Of course, I'm way newer to this Griselda group. It looked like every record he's doing on here with a guy named Harry Fraud, Black Soprano Family. Uh, shout out to y'all, because that looks like it's it's the affiliates that they're releasing this under. That's a group that Benny the Butcher has always been connected with, so. Hey, yo, you know, anytime I come back, my shit ain't wrong. Niggas be like, yo. He talking about <laughs> rappers who who don't make it and then end up driving Uber. It's hilarious. And fuck you, first of all, because I'm one of them rappers. But I mean, I, I don't counsel myself out as a not making it rapper. It's like, I, got, I still got time. <laughs> it's ticking. It seems like being an Uber driver is like an artist type of job. Like, if you got that job, it does kind of reveal something about your spirit. You're more of a free spirit. You know, you're like probably more of an entrepreneur or, or somebody who, you know, just just don't like to go the regular route of working for somebody. This beat is, is a sample. It's like, it feels like that Griselda type of shit. Um, and it's funny that they're making themselves known for just these like sample records. And it's different from like a Kanye, because Kanye makes sample records like he really switches them up. But like these guys, they are not worried about switching shit up. They're like, we're going to do, we're going to rap on the samples of all this old school ass shit. Um, and they stick to it. With this one, it's not my favorite sample, but I get it. You know, it's it's got them horns in it. It feels New York. Really good bars, though, in this opening record. If you listen to it, he's got those, like, New York bars. It's not, like, the craziest bars you've heard, but it's like, yeah, yeah. Clean hits, clean hits. Yeah, I'm Shobo. You niggas know, though. Me and Bono minus Gina. We like Tony and Manolo. Your dough show the Frodo. I'm at the register like, what's the total? Since I kicked in the door, I've been in go mode. Yeah. I like this one. This is real hip hop -y right here. And uh, and he bars up. He bars up on this one. Even more than that last record I've heard. Um, And then he got Chinks on it. Uh, Shout out to Jinx. Chinks, R.I.P. to Chinks. I was just really getting hip to Chinks when he died. And that's what suck. It's like I, I, I you know, if you're not if you don't have your ear to the ground on some of these rappers, man, you miss the greatness and then you you're seeing the RIPs. And that's why I really that's another reason why I made this show, is to just kinda get connected with some of these young guys and just I don't know, I can't say I can't save nobody, but I just wanna connect with these dudes, man. I like the transitions and I even like Chink's uh uh verse on this strand at the end there. Step up from the last record for sure. <laughs> Ah. The butcher coming, nigga. He he gets it, and I I really study bars and cadences, you know, and I, I absolutely love it when a rapper don't just give up on a rhyme scheme because he ran out of rhymes, and he that's that's where the work comes in. 
Because sometimes you run out of a word that might rhyme and make sense and fucking move the culture forward. But that's where you got to keep thinking and like make some new shit. You got to be creative, like poke your creative bone and just keep keep draining it. And that's what the greats do. He said, I was a shooter, now I feed one. I'm like, God. This nigga, is, he's barring up. Each record is getting more barry. <laughs> time out, time out, yo. Two chains get better with age. This nigga is like fine wine to me, bro. Because like this verse right here, for first of all, for two chains to hop on a Benny the Butcher song, period, is like show you that two chains bars up. Two chains do not sleep on his fucking rhymes, bro. Like that nigga bars up and he's doing it right now off some clever shit. Swag rapper, but still no, he's smart though. You know, college graduate type nigga who, who put it together. Bilingual and a multifaceted. Chris Kringle when I'm in my baggage. 100 feet above average. By 21, I was a savage. By 22, I had a forward. By 23, I had crashed it. I knew they both had to break it. I just bars galore, bro. Getting cheeks like I'm cold gay. Something like about to blow. Put you coming, nigga. I know you got your gun on you, nigga. Fuck you gonna do with that? Your boy, your boy eat. He eats when he get on the beat. That's like, he is Benny the Butcher. He is, he cuts, he, that makes sense. He cutting that motherfucker when he get in that, slicing into fine pieces. And then I like the subject matter on this. He kind of checking niggas who got guns. Like, what you, you know, with your, with your spirit, like, does that gun, like, rule you? Is that just a new dick? Or are you like, are you, do you control that? You know what I mean? Because some niggas lose control. When they get the hammers, they don't know, you know, the, the hammer becomes their, their mind state, you know, and that's when it's dangerous. And he tapping into that right now. He's like, some of y'all niggas got it fucked up. You're losing yourself and you're thinking like you've gaining, you're gaining a new, <laughs> new confidence. And it's it's one of those super gritty, uh, old school kind of Wu-Tangy type of beats. So if you're not into that vibe, this, this record might turn you off. But if you are, man, you welcome. God damn it. Pull up a seat. Get your chips and nachos. A very intelligent rapper though. And he speak he's speaking straight street shit, but so intelligent. And those are my favorite rappers. I've never been a dictionary studier, like just look up a random word in the dictionary every day, but um I listen out for interesting words that I don't know the meaning of it. And if I don't know it, I don't just gloss over it like some people do. I like purposely go and look it up and try to add it into my repertoire. Like all the time, if somebody says, because I talk to a lot of people, I hear a lot of things, and when somebody says some cold shit, I'll be like, what did he just say? Words give things identity, and it actually makes you more aware. So the more words you know, the more aware you are of just shit in life. And it makes you better, it makes you more interesting, all of that shit. So I'm talking back. The butcher coming, nigga. So I'm talking back. Somebody gotta go. So I'm talking back. It ain't gonna be me. Uh, don't put no faith in no nigga. Put no faith in no bitch. I was in a cell thinking about ways to get rich. It's kind of uh, it's super like new forward type of uh, sampling, uh, with a kind of an old school beat, uh, drum pattern. You know that makes it interesting because it's like you know he's using those horns that a lot of new artists are using, like the baby and little baby. Like they use these horns in unique ways in these newer records, and they're doing the same thing on this record. I like it. Any, you know, at this point, I'm pretty much he's a shoe in rhyme wise on any beat. So now I'm just waiting to see like how far ranging he's about to go on it. Joey Crack made a presence. Shout out to Fat Joe. He didn't give you so much of an update. I thought he was about to like give you just a super updated ballistic report just because he's so like in the media now and he still raps and I respect that. Uh, you know, rappers, if you rap, dog, there's no retiring of this shit. <clears throat> I do believe like I got an album that's going to drop this year. Like, nigga, you know, what I mean, you don't stop this shit. You just keep going. You keep going till you die. I don't care how old you get. You know what I mean? I'm going to open up a label where I'm just funding older artists because every artist is gonna get old but you don't lose your shit you just lose the attention you lose like the money the generation you know like you lose the young people sometimes you know we're not connected unless we get paid prison left me in rage nice work wesley and blaze they know i'm up so they expect me to change i plug on both sides dope boy with executive game so even just starting this record um i already know he just about to be on some lyrical empirical shit and, and dissect you and it's really good and the thing that upsets me is that i know the young generation won't get it 
because he's so smart and he's metaphorical and that's like where like that's supreme new york raps what he's doing right now he's doing like the top level he's doing you know he's coding right now but the thing is a lot of these young guys and young people who listen to hip-hop they're not they're not good at coding <laughs> you know so the real food here that they're, they're gonna miss it you know it goes over their head and that's why like it's gonna take a little time for the whole game to get back up to where they understand how you know super powerful these bars are that he's rapping you know we had a point now with the more simple the better and it's always every year gets more and more simple but it's gonna go the other way like once we get to just the most simplest shit where nigga just he'll make a whole song about a word da 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 once a dude do a song completely like that that's when it's gonna go back in reverse just a ball for a couple summers i broke bread and shared place with the niggas y'all call legends y'all too loud when y'all walk in the rooms it's all presence my body language just as loud as my voice and then y'all catch it it's called longevity you know and that's what i'm in the game for like niggas don't know what i'm doing you know this is a longevity play uh you know that's that's you got to figure out how to last long and if you're in hip-hop or if you're in the nfl if you're in the nba any sports um you in really any profession because because one thing you can bank on in life is that shit is going to change that's the one thing that you can absolutely put all your money on shit's about to change whatever you used to right now is not going to be that way <laughs> no matter how you try to keep it like that everything around you is going to change you can keep your corner the same but like everything around you is going to it's going to force you to change how you live it in your corner they're just talking about how whatever you love to do however much you love to do it something's going to change in, in the process of that so you just got to figure out how to change yourself we we're all like chameleons and adapt adaptability is a, what we do get an appearance from um french montana on this record who i've never fucking liked his bars and no hate man like i appreciate his hustle but his beats are so vicious though like i gotta give he got a good ear he got a great ear uh french montana but his rhymes is so weak to me and it lets me down all the time i just be like god damn it he needs to just be a somebody producer or a and r he but he want to be a rapper so bad and he makes it happen but to be honest on this record this is kind of the best bars i've heard him spit he knew he was hopping on a benny project so benny requires nigga to like you gotta bring your top shit even if you're not like a bar up type of nigga you gotta you gotta do your best when you're getting on a record with him because he will wash you and make you look stupid i've done it i've been on records with niggas who will wash your ass and it makes you get better jim jones jim jones ate a little bit on that last one too when his verse first started, I was like, damn, like that flow is a little off. But then at the end of it, he started to, I noticed that he's just playing with it. He's just trying something different. And that's, that's the, what greats do. That's what legends do. Um, they no longer just trying to do your favorite flow, you know, or some shit that'll just get you. They trying to off, they trying to do it off. And that's what put a lot of fans off sometimes, but I'm cutting through all that shit and I'm listening to what you're saying. So and Jim Jones, I was hard on Jim Jones when he first came out. I didn't like uh, a lot of his shit. But then he started to come around for me uh, late, like recently. In the middle of all this money, shows, clothes, and hoes, and I still. This, this is real shit for me. Like what he's talking about. <clears throat> the song and the sound of it is not. It doesn't really tickle you. Like I gotta hear this a million times, but it's food. And if you somebody who can listen to music for the actual like knowledge you are gonna get from it this is a good story because i think a lot of us have it we see so many people die around us dog it's like you you have to have some type i know i i don't have remorse for still being here but it's like it makes you want to fulfill your purpose to the highest extent because i've seen people who so so much younger than me die close to me and so much older than me older you can kind of see it more you're like okay they lived a the life um probably about the time for them to die was right but once i you know once I, when you're young and you see people around you dying, so people slightly older, people slightly lower, it fucks you up. And especially when you, you do the same things that they do, you see yourself completely in them. So it's almost like seeing yourself die. And that's the trippy part about death. It's almost like a part of you dies when somebody dies. 
But most people might listen to this record and be like, ah, because it's not like a jam. Them hand to hand sales, mate. Uh -huh. I'm one of them hustlers you gotta tell thank you. They got advice from my dog. I accept it because it's love. He said we did the work. You give it too much credit to the plug. He just kind of coming back to collect, some, collect on the thanks. You know, he know the work that he put in. He know that this is not an overnight thing. And this is kind of just him, like, just self-collecting it real quick. Off some, just like, not even bragging, just facts. Um, I like that sentiment. Um, but still a 50-50 record for me because it's just hard New York. It's not caring about, like, catering to where you are musically and what you want to hear. Uh, he just give you food. He give you the type of food that he want to give you. Album concept and theme uh, from the cover to the to the beats. Very, very New York scene-ish plug talk type beats. Um, a lot that he's talking about, it feels like just he's giving you the story of the moment where he's transitioning from street to, you know, industry. And he's giving you very intricate moments um, in there. And that's how I see this piece. It's very clear to me that that's what this piece is. It's all about the, the your sensei, the person you learned certain knowledge from that changed your life and how you move and operate. You know, um, somebody that changed your whole business and took it from here to there. You know, that relationship. And then how the streets coincide with all of that. It's a hard album to read if you're not a hip hop ear. Uh, but for the hip hop ear, it's all there. I'm gonna go with a 10. Um, artwork, I always love it when, when artists could use um, movie uh, stills to explain things because it's it, it says it all right there. Um, I love that. I love it. I do it myself. But the only thing is you're subject to the people that know it, you know, and if you know it and get it, then you in on it. But if not, you just don't, you might be a little lost. So um, with this one, it, it's there. I like it. Um, it's it's Scarface, one of, one of my favorite movies. Lower, like, like not top 10 for me, but like really in my gambit. If we're doing a hundred movies that ever you know, impacted my life, it's going to be in there. Um, so many principles, so many uh, street principles and just life principles in Scarface. And, and this explains it. This, this explains the whole album. I'm gonna go with an eight. Production was very, very New York, very gritty, um, very street vibe. Um, if you look at any movie, I feel like it could be a soundtrack for a street movie. You know, it, it'll soundtrack that well. Of course, it was some things taste-wise that wasn't my, my exact taste. So of course, it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard to please everybody. Um, especially when you're making hardcore New York sounding music right now where the world is, the zeitgeist is in a different space, but that's kind of, you know, the thing about this group, they stick to their guns. For the Griselda super fans, this is all that you want in love. Uh, for me, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of there. It's kind of there. I'm, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a six. Creativity. Uh, most of the creativity for me was in the rhymes. Um, Benny is, he's, he's really a butcher. He dissect, it's, he's playing a real molecular game with his rhymes. And I feel like that's the most creative part about this. Just the, the story, the journey he takes you on. Um, replay value, um, it's, it's pretty, it's a little low, low for me. Um, it's not a lot of records that I'm coming back to. Um, but I respect this album because it's a lot of bars in it. It's a lot of bars um, and a lot of good food in it, you know, especially for young people. Uh, I feel like a young person should really listen to this album, um, you know, and, and it's gonna grow on me a little more, I'm sure, uh, in, this, in this category. It's not a whole lot of beats that just like, that, that bring you, it's not a whole lot of catchiness to it that, that makes you, and unfortunately in this game, you have to have those elements. Back to the game and the culture, I mean, it's, it's adding to it and it's really enriched in what the culture is really about and that's serving knowledge. For that, the way it's so true to the art form, I have to give it, um, I have to give it a seven. Lyrics, I'm super hard on lyrics, um, but this is a very high content album and lyric i'm gonna go with a 10 um just because it's it's another level this is above most of y'all heads like i challenge you to listen to this and then do like 
uh, reports. Give me a paragraph report on what you learned um, because it is over your head. Me, I can understand it and dissect it, but for the average Joe, everything he's talking about is going over your head and you have to have lived a certain street life to understand everything you're hearing. A 54, which uh, it's a good album. Good album a on the lower side of a good album, but a good album. Uh, growing up in the streets, really, and got a, a slight understanding of what the streets is about, and, and want to know more, want to know what you need deep in. Um, this is a good album to listen to. Um, it's in that Scarface vibe, and really good features. All the features on here really they're surprising, and and. and and shout out to 2 Chains. You're going to love that shit. Shout out to Benny the Butcher. Shout out to the whole Griselda crew. Y'all doing y'all thing. And, and y'all got product. Y'all move y'all move, move music like you move drugs. And that's how you got to do it. Black Soprano family. Um, shout out to the whole crew. Let's have fun this weekend. Look, make sure you check out. I'm going to drop another uh, soundtrack Saturday. So hook up with me tomorrow. Okay? dropping tomorrow but it's gonna be on my youtube i'm trying to get my youtube follows up all right go follow the youtube subscribe to that um because i'm doing different shit there than you're seeing right now so just link with a brother i love you if nobody ever told you that let's let's have fun this weekend if you're working this weekend work it out um we still here when we're gonna be partying when you get off so come on through uh-huh